let's first see what we are going to build in this tutorial in this tutorial we are going to connect existing dialogflow chatbot to a website's front end that creates a small pop-up widget like this and when you click on it you can interact with the existing chatbot so let's get started there are a couple of things that you need in order to follow this tutorial and these are either node.js or python installed on your system uh, you have active dialog flow account after that you can follow this tutorial the problem we have is you know it is quite difficult without any third party integrations like communicate or boat copy or the integration Dialogflow Messenger beta which is provided by Dialogflow without this kind of integration it is fairly difficult for a normal person to integrate existing Dialogflow chatbot to their website. In this tutorial I will show you how you can do that in fairly simple steps. The first thing you need is that you need to replace all your responses in this kind of format which is a object which has two property text and buttons now text is a text that you want to render and button is a list of buttons that you want to show like I have shown it button 1 button 2 once you have that ready you change the responses of all the intents after that you need to download a service account key for that you can go to the settings and under that go to project ID it will open a GCP and here you need to download your service account key and enable the dialog flow API I will not show every step here for this you can see one of my video and the link for that video is in the description once you have set the responses and downloaded the service account key from GCP you can head over to this backend this backend is express node.js app but it is not restricted to node.js and express you can have a python flask application as well here what I do is that I have a website route and whenever a query appears here sent by this front end it goes to Dialogflow API I have a method which detects the intent using Dialogflow API uh, this is a fairly simple JavaScript file the only thing that you need to change is to the path to your service account JSON file once you do that you can detect intent using detect intent method written in this file so let me show you let me console the response also let me catch any error ok let me run this file node helper and dialog flow api So you can see I have successfully detected the intent of this query hello now the next thing is the front end uh, I'm not expert in this front end section so I have used this code from github but since I have 
I have been using this for my clients work for long back now so I don't remember the original author of this uh, front end so I'm not able to give credit to the author so here what it does is it uses Ajax sends a query to our backend this response from the backend is then rendered there are two things that it renders one boat response that it tags and add suggestions that are buttons uh, I may not able to explain more on this but if you follow the steps and use this as it is you will be able to replicate the same action one thing that need your attention here is this base URL so at this point since I am going to run this on my local machine I'm using local host but when you deploy it you need to replace uh, the local host URL with your public URL in your HTML page either index or any HTML page you need to have these two scripts this links and you can use this my boat tag to create a pop-up widget in your website like this so let me start this now it is running locally on my machine you can deploy this on any server let's say on Heroku and how to deploy it on Heroku you can watch one of my tutorial and the link for it is in the description so it is started now I can write hello and get a response now these buttons don't do anything at this point but you can you know have any kind of responses and intents and then connect it to this uh, front end of the chatbot so I hope this helps you and you find some meaning in this tutorial the code and the front end used in this tutorial is on my github and the link is in the description Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Till then, peace.